So, so far when it comes to arithmetic sequences, we've been using these recurrence relations to write them down. But they have a pretty serious limitation. Watch how I have to use this formula. Okay, the first term is 3, and then the next term will be whatever the first term is plus 2, so that's 5. And then the next term will be whatever that was plus 2, which is 7. And then the next one will be that, and then the next one will be that. Okay. The limitation is that to find the next term, I need to know the previous term. So if I wanted to know the millionth term, that would take me a really long time because I've got no choice. I've just got to write it all out until I get to the millionth term. Thankfully, there is a better way. So let's look at our sequence again. We started at the number three, and then we added two to that. And then we added two to that, and then we added two to that. If instead I want to jump directly to one of the terms, if I want to jump directly to this term here, look how many common differences I've got. One, two, three, four. I have four common differences, so four lots of two. Three plus four lots of two is three plus eight, which is eleven. I do have a faster way to get there, and that faster way is this formula right here. Let's look at what it's doing. So this formula is designed to tell me straight away any term that I want to know. So I said, what's the millionth term? Let's take a look. What's the millionth term of this sequence right here? Well, to find the millionth term, we put in our first term. So our first term here is 3. And then we add what term did I want to know? I wanted to know the millionth term. One million. Uh, is that enough? One more. And then I subtract one. Right? And then common difference. Two. Alright, so that says three plus one million minus one multiplied by two. There's a little multiply sign, right? right there that we don't write in our formula, but it's there right next to that bracket. All right, that is super straightforward. All right, typed it into my calculator. Bam. The millionth term of this sequence right here is two million and one. I hope I put enough zeros there. What a great little time-saving formula. Instead of writing out a million terms, I can jump straight to the millionth term. Now you might be looking at this going, okay, I get it, we, here's our starting one, and then we have a certain number of common differences. Why, why minus one? What's happening here? Well, go back to what I said earlier about this fifth term here, right? Look how many common differences there are to get to the fifth term. One, two, three, four. We have to do four common differences to get to the fifth term. So whatever term you want to get to, in my case, the millionth term, there's not going to be a million common differences. There's going to be a million minus one common differences. This formula is great. It's just plug and play. If you know the first term, if you know what term you want to know, and you know your common difference, you can put those three pieces into it, and you'll know exactly what the nth term is. In this case, the millionth term. All right, you could pause the video. I'm going to do this one super fast. So, I use my formula, I want to know the 57th term. So, term 57 is equal to term 1. What's my first term? 23 plus n. What's my n? My 57th term is what I want to do. 57 minus 1, don't forget that, minus 1, times the common difference, common differences of 4. Calculator. Now, you can't type it into your calculator exactly as it's written. If you do, syntax, syntax error. So what you need to do is put a little multiply sign in there next to that bracket. Bam! Our 57th term is 247. All right, that's the arithmetic sequence. That's the general rule. Uh, in a future video, we're going to do some more with this formula because if you've got a bunch of variables in a formula, we've got four different things in this formula, we could ask you to find all four of those. In these ones, we're just finding what the nth term is, the millionth term, the 57th term. See you in the next one.